December and May, there are so many little festivities that take place. All this culminates and lead up to Trishur Puram, in which there are at least 100 elephants participating. I was appalled to see a blind elephant, this majestic, magnificent animal that has so much power, was completely broken in spirit. To me, that was very hurtful. Then the other brutality that I saw was an elephant had injuries in his ankle and on those injuries, there were shackles. And when I asked the handler how come he had such deep injuries, he tried to justify by saying that they had to chain him tightly because they didn't want him to get out of control. The reality is this elephant was in his peak mating season and that's the time when they generally tend to get dominant and the handlers are then unable to control them. The chains cut deeper and deeper into the ankles and they end up with self-inflicted wounds that can be totally avoided. During the festival season, they don't get any rest. They require hours for feeding. So when the elephant is taken from one festival to another festival, where does it get the time to eat properly? Approximately 300 to 400 kilos of weight is what these elephants were carrying. Their bodies are not designed to carry so much weight. Massive crowd, the sounds of the drums and the whining sounds of the horn, and the scorching sun. All four legs are shackled and then a massive chain is thrown on the body. It's torturous for these animals. They don't deserve to be treated like this. In the wild, elephants move for about 12 to 16 hours trying to get food. In captivity, what happens is you're giving it concentrated food at one location where it doesn't have to move much. The most common behavior we see with the animals where they have nothing to do but stand around is stereotypic behavior. We see this weaving action of the body, swaying itself, moving its trunk in a very fixed fashion. So these are basically aberrant behavior showing signs of stress. And uh, in some cases, yes, being tied down for a long time, the stress itself could act as a trigger for violence. So it's important for people to understand that behind all the glitz and glamour, these animals go through enormous pain and suffering. Elephants are considered to be the embodiment of Lord Ganesh. And on the other hand, it's the embodiment of Ganesh that is being tortured. You worship Ganavadi. <laughs> At the same time, you use a lot of abuse. It's a god in chain. India is one of the few countries where using elephants in circuses has been completely banned. In Malabar and places like that, they don't use elephants at all, period. You can still respect your traditions and culture without using these elephants. And most recently, elephants have been elevated to the status of heritage animals in India. One of the main reasons that I'm creating this film is to empower the public. It's just one step. We educate the people. That's where we begin. Because human beings are compassionate. Once we expose the pain and suffering that these animals have to endure, I think we can really, really create some massive changes. I would be immensely grateful if you're able to support me, not just by contributing money, but by sharing this initiative on your Facebook page, on your Twitter account, and by spreading the word amongst your family and your friends. This way, we are increasing our sphere of influence and engaging more and more people that really care about these intelligent, amazing animals.